Hello everyone, Juan González, Cursos Odonto 3D. Today we're gonna discuss something very important when printing dental models. When printing dental models, one of the main reasons for printing failure is an incorrect orientation or a lack of supports. Today I'm gonna give you a recipe, <laughs> a simple guide to have perfect dental models every single time. So I'm gonna discuss this with Cheetobox Pro, but this can be used in Cheetobox uh, free also and works basically the same way. So we drag and drop our model here in Cheetobox Pro. And as you can see, the first difference is that we have automatic repair. So uh, if I click here, yes, it will fix any problems this mesh may have. So that will prevent some problems later on. Now, as you can see, this is a hollow model. I do recommend to print hollow models with enough thickness, but uh, it will consume less resin and there is basically no reason to print uh, solid models. The first thing you have to decide is which orientation you're gonna use. As I said before, this is one of the main keys or main reasons for failure. And to make things simpler, my recommendation is to print it like this horizontal. Why? Because this is gonna give us a big part, a big a piece of resin stick to the platform and that will prevent uh, some problems later on. Although this can be enough for most cases, I do recommend to use supports because as you can see, when the model uh, increase in height, the walls converge to the middle, right? So sometimes some parts of this, those walls can be weak or don't have enough supports so i will go here into my support area here and without this this is very important without elevating the model so here in set a leaf i will add zero to have it flat on the surface i will add some supports at this stage i use the middle option and here in the bottom i want to have a flat cone a flat piece of support so I will choose none also wrap none so the bottom piece will be just a flat cone so when I click here in add I will have some support on the inside something like that and that will be enough to prevent any problems on those cost tips or any part at the end of the model finally although this is almost perfect we have some problems here because since this is a closed um, space, it will create some suction effect when every layer is added. And this suction effect can deform the model or unstick the model from the platform. So to avoid this problem, the last uh, step is to add some holes, some drain holes around the model that will let us reduce that effect, that suction effect, and also prevent some resin to get stuck inside the model. All right, so we're gonna use the prepare uh, tab here and we have an option called dig hole very simple a very important step is to disable this keep hole option because if i click here and i add a hole you're gonna find some pieces floating around because this will keep that part uh, for later or something to to cap this in place so <laughs> i really don't need that part so i will remove keep hole and i will i won't get more models in my list so now I can add some holes here around the model and the same thing here in the other side. I have many parameters here to decide about this. If you want me to explain this further, I will in a separate video. But now just to, with having some holes around the model, this will be okay. So finally, when we are done, you have to choose the correct profile. It's very, very important to have a proper Expo exposition and a proper profile. If you don't have a proper profile, you have to make some uh, extra steps to find the perfect exposure, but this is gonna be something for a second video, <laughs> for a future video. So basically with this, we are done. I can proceed to sl slice with single parameter at this time. And this model will print beautiful because as you can see, it will start from a flat part and that piece will hold together everything great. Also, the supports will prevent any problems at the cost tips and the drain holes will prevent any deformations and capturing the resin inside. That's it, it's that simple. Now I can save and send it back to my uh, printer. Also, if you wanna get a great discount, check the link I will leave on the description and the first comment 
or use this promo code when purchasing any of the options here in G2Box Pro. So I hope you enjoyed this information and if it is helpful, don't forget to comment below. Leave your thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs up if you didn't like it. If you want to know more about Cheetobox, leave a comment below. Also, I will create maybe more videos in the future. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in a next time in Blender for Dental and Español.